Sean of the Shed, an AMI original podcast. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sean of the Shed. I am Sean Priest, and yeah, I am sat in a garden shed and this is the show where I tell you all about the technology that can be so useful to us as blind or visually impaired people. Today, I want to talk to you about NVDA. That's non-visual desktop access. It's a screen reader that I absolutely love. It's the one that I use. Now, if you don't know what a screen reader is, specifically NVDA, but any screen reader, then why not go back to some of my earlier episodes of Shaun of the Shed, where I talk about how we as blind people use computers in the first place, either on audio or on YouTube. Just take a browse through the earlier episodes. It will help you out. What I specifically want to talk about today is a new feature that's just been added to NVDA called the NVDA add-on store. Add-ons are extra little bits of software that you can add to the screen reader that gives it more functionality. For example, there may be something that makes the app Outlook for your email easier to use or give you extra keyboard shortcuts to do specific things. You may have a favorite feature on a different screen reader, such as Jaws, which is another amazing one, by the way. Uh, there may be a feature on there that isn't built in natively to NVDA, but you may be able to find a feature similar to it in the add-on store. So anyway, before the NVDA add-on store feature was added in a recent release to NVDA, um, you had to go to a website, the NVDA directory, to browse these add-ons and install them manually. Now you can do it all inside the screen reader itself. If you don't have NVDA, firstly, why not? Uh, and secondly, you can get it by going to the website, which is nvaccess.org. That's nv A-C-C-E-S-S dot org. To start off, we need to go to the NVDA menu. To do this, you hold down your NVDA modifier key, which in my case is caps lock, but it could be insert on your keyboard. But in most cases, it's probably caps lock. So hold down the caps lock key and press the letter N. NVDA menu. There it is. Beautiful. Now, you can use the cursor keys to go up or down through this list of items. Let's try that out. Preferences submenu P. Tools submenu T. That's actually where you'll find the add-on store in the tools, but let's keep going. Help submenu H. I'm just pressing the down arrow here. Configuration profiles. Yeah, you get the idea. You know how menus work. Let's just do the quick nav version. To jump to the tools menu, I'm just going to hit T. View log V. And we're in there now. Now to jump to the NVDA add-on store, it's just the letter S. Add-on store, installed add-ons, all. Dialog NVDA global commands extension description. This module has been developed with the participation of Daniel Poirot. Okay, I just hit the control key there to stop the screen reader from speaking. So we're now in the NVDA add-on store. Now because I've already got add-ons installed on my computer, it's taken me to the installed add-ons list. So here I can, again, use the up or down arrows to go through all the add-ons I've currently got on my computer. As you heard, it did start reading out the first one, but let's just arrow down again. Outlook extended, installed version 2.2, channel, stable. It gives you all the details of that add-on. Now, if you don't have add-ons installed already, this is your first time maybe of running the add-on store, then instead of the installed add-ons page, you will see the available add-ons, which will give you a huge list of all the add-ons you can install. But we'll get to that in just a second. Again, let me just arrow down one more time. WhatsApp Plus, installed version 2.0.0. Okay, so there's my WhatsApp add-on. Now, I can get more information simply by tabbing through further details. So let me just hit the tab key here. Description, edit read only. This add-on adds many hockeys for quick navigation through the main elements of the window. It does. Convenient interaction with chat messages and also adds many minor. Minor what? I could arrow down to read the rest of that, but let's just hit the tab key again. Actions button, Alt plus C. 
actions. So what do I want to do with this add-on? There's various options in that. In fact, let's take a look right now. Let's hit space or enter on that. Context menu. And just arrow down. Disable D. I could disable that add-on. Maybe I don't want to use it currently, but I don't want to uninstall it. So I can just disable it. Arrow down again. Remove R. Now, I definitely don't want it. Let's get rid. I can remove it. Help H. I want help. How do I actually use the WhatsApp add-on? What's the keyboard commands? That's how I find out. Homepage M. I can go to the homepage of the developer. Arrow down. Disable D. And we're back up to the top. So there's the actions menu button. Just going to hit escape to get rid of this menu. Add-on store. Installed add-ons. And now let's just hit tab one more time. Other details. Edit read only alt plus o author. Cost you are glad key less glad key dot. And there's some extra details. I think that's it. Let's hit tab one more time. Install from external source button alt plus x. Ah, that's right. Install from external source. Now, let's say you're creating your own add-on and it's not already in the NVDA add-on store, obviously. You can just install it from your own computer. Just install the file and maybe someone will send you an add-on file. You can install it using that button. Let's hit tab one more time. Close button. And there's close to close down the add-on store. So there you go. That's the installed add-ons on my computer. But hey, what if you're coming to this fresh? What's available? There's an easy way to tell. Now, this NVDA store is sort of split into three main sections. Let's hit Control Tab to jump up to the tabs at the top. Control Tab. Tab Control Panel. Now, the first thing you hit is Panel. Now, I'm going to come back to this because it's slightly strange. So I will come back to this, but for now, let's just hit Control Tab again. Available add-ons tab selected. There we go. Available add-ons. So now it's showing me on the screen a list of every add-on available. We will take a look in just a second, but let's continue to Control Tab, which, by the way, is a system keyboard shortcut, which will always switch you between tabs if you're in the property dialog box, for example, in Windows, Control Tab will switch the tabs that you're in. Let's hit Control Tab. Installed incompatible add-ons tab selected. This will show me a list of all the installed add-ons I've got, which are currently incompatible with the current version of NVDA. Whew, sounds complicated, but uh, it really isn't. Some uh, add-ons were created for very early versions of NVDA and aren't compatible with the later versions. So uh, you will find these here. Let's control tab again. Installed add-ons tab selected. This is where we started. Installed add-ons, a list of every add-on I've got on this computer. Let's do it one more time. Updatable add-ons tab selected. Updatable add-ons. So maybe the WhatsApp add-on I've got on my computer is uh, has a new release, a new update. You will find it here. If it doesn't, which most of them already do, automatically update. Let's control tab one more time. Available add-ons tab selected. And we're back to available add-ons. Now, if you want to jump quickly back to the list of no matter what tab you're on, maybe it's installed add-ons or available add-ons, simply press Alt-A. Available add-ons list. 10 d application module. And there we are at the top of the list of available add-ons. Let's quickly jump back to the tabs again. So again, control tab. Tab control panel. There's that panel, which I will come back to. Installed add-ons tab selected. And installed add-ons, keep going. Updatable add-ons tab, available add-ons tab selected. Available add-ons. Right, so we have the list of add-ons, that's the first area. Then we have the tabs to choose what add-ons we see, which we're currently in. And the third area, if I press tab. Channel, combo box stable collapsed alt plus n. It's a it's the list of filters, basically. So this first one is a combo box. You can alt down arrow to open this up. Expanded. And if I just down arrow through this. Channel list beta. So I can see only the add-ons which are currently in beta. So are ready for testing. Maybe not quite ready. They'd have a few bugs in them. They're not ready for the big time yet, but you can test them out if you want. Let's arrow down again. Dev. 
the dev channel. Ooh, now this is for developers, early adopters, people are maybe testing out features of beta NVDA screen reader program and they're testing out specific add-ons. So only for developers, really. Let's hour it down again. External. External. Okay, a list of only external add-ons. So in my case, WhatsApp, for example, is an external add-on. So it would just show me external add-ons. And that's the last in the list. Let me just arrow up to the top. Dev. Beta. Stable. Stable. Now, this is the one that most of you are going to want to use. It's the one that I always use. So it will only show you the add-ons which have been officially released. They've been tested with the latest version of NVDA. OK, so I'm going to hit enter on that. Now, let's hit tab again. Add-on store. Available add-ons. Stable. Dialog 10 data application module description. Ah, it's jumped me down to the list. So let me quickly jump back. Now, there is a keyboard shortcut to take you directly to that uh, channel filter box, and that is Alt N. Channel, combo box, stable, collapsed, Alt plus N. There we go. Now let's hit tab. Include incompatible add-ons, checkbox, not checked, Alt plus I. So maybe you want to see incompatible add-ons if you want. Currently, that's unchecked. Let's hit tab again. Search, edit, Alt plus S blank. And a search box. So maybe you've heard of an add-on that you want to install. So I'm going to test this out in just a minute. So you can just search for a specific add-on in the list. Again, that's got its own keyboard shortcut, which was Alt S. So actually, let's try that out while I'm here. Now, I've heard of an add-on called Place Marker. Now, this allows you to mark certain locations on web pages and jump to them directly. For me, this could be really useful. Anyway, I'll give a more uh, detailed explanation when I install it. So I'm in the search box. I'm going to type place markers. P L O C E M O R K. A place mark should be enough. Now, you don't have to enter on that. All we need to do is jump back to the list. Remember, Alt A. Available add ons list. Place markers. Available version 34.0.0. .0 channel stable. Publisher, move days. Okay, just control to shut that up for a minute. So that's the one I want. Perfect. Now, let's hit tab. Remember when I was in my installed add ons list, I got extra details. So let's try and see what we've got here. So if I hit tab. Description, edit read only add on for setting place markers on specific virtual documents. Okay, nice. Let's hit tab again. Actions button, Alt plus C. More actions. Tab again. Other details, edit read only alt plus o publisher. And tab again. Install from external source button. So the same options we had in the other list. So let's go back to that actions button. Other actions button alt plus c. I'm just shift tabbing to go back and let's hit enter on that. Context menu. And arrow down. Install i. Install. Home page m. This will take to the home page of the developer. License l. Oh, license. Do you need to pay to use this? Probably not. Source code C. To go to GitHub to see the actual source code. Very nice. Install I. And back up to the top, install. You know what? I'm going to do it. Let's hit enter on install. Add-on store. Available add-ons. Stable. Dialog place markers description. And it's done it. As simple as that. Now, it didn't give you much of a uh, verbal feedback there, but it did do it. So we're going to check that out in just a second. But before we do, let's hit control tab one more time. Tab control panel panel. Now, I said I would come back to it and I didn't forget for once. Now, this is strange because it seems to be like a, a separator between the tabs, you know, installed add ons, available add ons and the filters such as channel or show incompatible or the search. If I press the arrow up key while well, I'm in the panel. Installed incompatible add ons tab selected. It takes me to the tabs and I can simply left or right through them. Available add ons tab selected. Updatable add ons tab selected. Let's go back to the place marker add on I've just installed. So we will find that obviously in the installed add ons tab. Let's go back. Control tab. Tab control panel. No, control tab. Installed add ons tab selected. Ah, we are already there. OK, back to the list. OA. Installed add ons list. NVDA global commands extension installed version. OK, so let's arrow down through my list of installed. 
Outlook extended. In WhatsApp Plus. Install. What? It's not there. What's going on? Well, there's a reason for that. We need to restart NVDA for it to show up. So to do that, all we need to do is hit the escape key to shut down the NVDA add-on store. Let's hit escape. Restart NVDA dialog changes were made to add-ons. You must restart NVDA for these changes to take effect. Would you like to restart now? Yes, I would. So now NVDA is restarted, let's go back to the store. Remember, let's hold down caps lock or your NVDA modifier key and press the letter N. NVDA menu. T for tools. View log V. S for store. Add-on store, installed add-ons. <laughs> now let's arrow down and see if place markers is now there. Outlook extended. Place markers. There is. So there is place markers, but how do I actually use it? Because if I tab here to the description. Description, edit read only add-on for setting place markers on specific virtual documents. Well, that doesn't tell me a whole lot. So let me just shift tab to go back to the title. Installed add-ons, list, place markers. Now, of course, I could tab through to the actions button, but actually you don't need to. You can just hit enter. Context menu. Now let's arrow down. Disable D. Remove R. Help H. Help. Now this is incredibly helpful, funnily enough, but you're gonna want to remember this. So let's go to the help page. Place markers 34.0.0. Personal Microsoft Edge window. So this opens up a web browser and I'm just going to jump through the headings here. Key commands, heading level two. That's exactly what I want. What keyboard commands do I need to know to use this add-on? So let's just arrow down from here. List with 11 items, bullet control plus shift plus NVDA plus F opens a dialogue with an edit box that shows the last saved search in this. Wow, that's quite a keyboard shortcut. It's not actually what I'm looking for, so let's arrow down. Dialog, you can also select the previously string from the history using a checkbox. Yeah, keep going. Be added to the his buttons. Between case sensitive, bullet control plus shift plus NVDA plus Y saves the current position as a place marker. That's what I'm interested in. So if I press the NVDA modifier key, again, caps lock in my case, shift, control, and the letter Y, it will mark wherever I am as a place marker. This means whenever I go back to that website or that document, I can simply jump directly to that same position, that same location, without having to navigate all the way through. But how do I do that? Well, let's arrow down again. For this place marker, bullet control plus shift plus NVDA plus delete deletes the place marker corresponding to this position. Ah, well, that's good to know. Bullet NVDA plus Y moves to the next place marker. NVDA key plus Y allows me to jump through all the place markers because you can have more than one apparently. If I press NVDA shift and Y, it will jump back through the list of place markers. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Of course, you can take some more time and read more descriptions and more keyboard bindings there. But for now, that's enough for me to get started. So let's close this down, Alt F4. Add-on store, installed add-ons. And we're back to the add-on store. Actually, I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna simply try using this new add-on. Let's go to a website. Let's open up Edge, Windows key to bring up the start menu. Start window, search window. And type Edge. E, Microsoft Edge. Enter. Loading complete. Okay, so where should we go? Let's go to, why not AMI? Let's go to ami.ca, enter. Loading page, loading complete. Okay, so now that's done. Let's jump through, I don't know, the headings, for example. I'm gonna hit H. Banner landmark primary navigation heading level two. Um, let's tab through that menu. Primary navigation, featured visited link. Watch, get familiar with our selection of video shows. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's use that as a place marker. So if I can remember the keyboard shortcut, which was the NVDA key, remember mine is caps lock, and the shift key and the control key and the letter Y. Saved position at character 99. So now I've marked that as my saved location. So anytime I come back to this website, that will be available to me. I can jump directly there. 
At least I hope so, if this add-on works. So let's navigate away from the watch item there. Let me just jump through some headings. Main landmark, a new list, showed it. There we go, and arrow down. Just so we're far away from that. Now I want to jump back up to that position. NVDA plus shift plus Y. Out of list banner landmark primary navigation navigation landmark list with six items link watch. And I've jumped directly back to that place marker. So that works really well. And as far as I can tell and what people have told me, you can set multiple place markers on multiple websites. Absolutely great and exactly what I wanted. So there you go. That is the NVDA add-on store. How cool is that? Now, I will say, I do feel the navigation of the NVDA add-on store, you know, that that control panel thing of, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why that's there. And the navigation does feel a little bit, a little bit excessive, but hey, this is the first release of the NVDA add-on store and I'm sure it could get tweaked. And even if it doesn't, you know what? It's still perfectly usable as I think I've just shown. Either way, there's no denying for the first time user or someone who's interested in add-ons but not used them before, it is much friendlier than having to go out to a website and install them manually. So well done, NVDA. I think this is very nice. Now with all that said and all the love I've given NVDA and NVDA add-ons, I must say that please remember that these are made by the community. Uh, NVDA add-ons could potentially have access to your data or your personal data, they can be pretty powerful. Use your common sense when downloading add-ons. All the ones in the store, look, I've never had an issue, but it's only fair for me to say, just be careful what add-ons you install. Just ask around, see if they're recommended by anyone else and check out the homepage and the website, etc. Anyway, there you go. I hope you found that useful. And if you didn't, don't worry, there's always the next episode. I'm sure there'll be something for you. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, tap that subscribe button. If you want to get in contact with me, if you've got a recommendation, a suggestion or a question, then email Sean, that's S-H-A-U-N, Sean at doubletaponair.com. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You take care. And also, I've got to say thanks to Georgia for helping me record the screen in an accessible way. You're a genius. Thanks, guys. See you next time.